everybody. Welcome to my infrared sauna vlog. Oh my god, it's been the most intense three days of my life. Literally. Um, started with a mass shooting, very close to my house, and then the following morning, or midday-ish, we had a fire that started that ended up covering a huge portion of the community and um, surrounding communities, and there's been, well, it's all over the news, but... I'm literally in the middle of it, and thank God my house is standing. I found out my friend's house has made it through, but I mean, there was a lot of praying around her house and a lot of <sighs> focused protection, and it and it did end up surviving against all odds, I must say. And there's so many that did lose their homes and their wildlife. I mean, their um, livestock, and oh, it's just been a nightmare. And so. I know it's concentrated to our area, but when you're in the thick of it, it feels like the world is ending. And it's really important to try to keep your head and not let the intensity of the circumstances that we're experiencing color our overall perspective about life. Because it's really easy to get bogged down and not just your own pain and emotion, but everyone else is around you that's also suffering. And so... In the midst of tragedy, it's really important to remain a level head, but also to give thanks for your blessings that you do have, you know? Like, I'm still here. My house is here. My daughter's safe in L.A., and I'm safe, and I'm saying prayers nonstop for the people that are in pain and struggling and try to figure all of this devastation out. And I feel like there's going to be a great cleansing and a great healing after this because... It's going to be required. And I know I have a lot of tears on these lately, but that's just me, you know. And sometimes it's like crying in the shower when you're in the sauna. You're dripping everywhere. So it doesn't really matter if there's some more drips that come out of your eyes, you know. Because sometimes I feel like I just feel the emotions of everyone. And I think that's part of being a psychic and being an empath. And so I'm trying to release it and just be in gratitude for what I've got. And, and I'm saying prayers to everyone around me. So please keep the faith. And I've put it out there that if there are those really in need, please contact me because I can probably help you either direct you to somewhere that can give you help or maybe I can help personally, you know. So please keep the faith and it's going to get better. Stay strong, everybody. And please, let's try to band together as a community in love and support. Okay? And say prayers. The The winds are coming up again tonight and tomorrow. And so let's just say prayers of protection for what's left. All right? Blessings to everybody. Prayers to everybody. I acknowledge your pain.